morning, my people. Hi. Good morning, God's people. In Jesus' mighty name. King Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm still here in uh, Yehundi. I said to you people that was traveling yesterday because some of our people here wanted to see me. And also so that I can shift the manifestation oil that I prayed this year for them. I've received so many messages and calls in the night about the match that I said concerning Francis Nano and I didn't watch the match. Not because I did not want to. Normally I don't watch boxing, but I wanted to have this privilege to be able to watch it, but God did not permit it to happen. So but thank God. Well, I'm not here to to say I'm celebrating the victory that they have won Francis Nano. No. It's a street man like me. Well, we are only servants of God. We say what we see. I said this is what I saw. Even the people that were insulting me, that keep insulting me because of what happened the other time in Nigeria. I don't want to even go there because if I explain to you what happened, but we give glory to God. So this one, and I said to my brother, I said, correct your mistake. I saw this, the person that I was with him, could not believe it. I told him that I saw Francis falling big. I said, but Francis is a huge man. He don't fall like that. What kind of bloke can carry that kind of man and put him down? Okay? So when I see this, I know that this was a sign. And the Lord showed me in it that it was not supposed to extend up to the rounds. So I said, I yet to be round three. It ended in round two. And that's how we knew when I saw the red card of Isaac Waka. I told him that it was going to be like the first match, but the red card came the last match. So there are some things that we might see this way, it comes this way. I've accepted the fact that I don't know everything. I'm still growing. I'm a young man. That's why I use the opportunity to tell anybody out there that if you are a genuine Christian, if you want to see more of this, because we have you have seen 0.0, 0.2%, more than 99.98% is still waiting. 99. There are a lot of things that God has used me to do. God used me to stop rain. God used me to make the blind see. God used me to make a deaf man talk. God used me to make someone that was mad, madness disappear. God has used me. You know, some of you are testifying. You know. Even those that were insulting me, they know me. They know me. And I said, this year, the Lord says the year of manifestation. And you will know about it. We are going small, small. So this message is just to encourage my fans, my followers, my brothers, my friends, that uh, Jesus is Lord. There are some that have written me, they say they are waiting for the media to talk. They want, they want our team to say something so they can be talk, supported. It's okay. The only thing I can advise you following me that if you want to support this genuine grace of God, don't allow Satan to pollute the, the grace. For now, I know who I am. I know how I'm standing. You want to support the grace? Yes, our numbers are there. Our account details are there. You can support us to complete the building of the church. We have built a church. We have no zinc it. Because the expenditure is too much. And I happen to be doing ministry in a local environment where everyone almost there is against what we do. Only God is helping us. We face a lot of challenges that I cannot even say them here. But God is helping me. So I want to, that this genuine grace from the nation of Cameroon can be heard all over the world. You can support our vision. You yeah, have feel free. It's anything we receive. They said, I came here to Yawane to do what? To upgrade the media system. If you watch our Sunday series or our Wednesday series, it was very poor presenting it on media because we are using phones. We cannot hide it. We are not up there like some of the people think, but we are coming there. We are coming there. We are coming there. The first thing you need to know to defeat an enemy, you should be able to accept your position. That it is God that is stronger in me, not me. So whatever I'm seeing is God that is showing me. I come and tell people, I saw this and I ended. You are going to see the prophecy there. I gave it and I said, I saw Francis, a blow took him down. And I said, this is a huge man, a strong man, you cannot go down like that. And I told him that, correct this mistake. And I said, it was not going to be like the other match where he reached 10 round. This one, I see three. Two, boom, round two, my brother. Because he did not come across my video. You know, many people, when they look me, even today, they still minimize. That's how David was. David was not a big man. David did not come to fight Goliath with all the weapons you think. That's it. That's who we are for you. 
we might not have all the big big things you have, the big big grammar you have, the big big uh, many things you have, the influences and that. We have the little one that we have, and God is helping us to grow with it once more. I love all of you. Thank God for those who are supporting us. We've come to upgrade our media system. We have received support from people all over. We thank God for that. Those who want to steal, we are ready and willing to hear from you. Those who are insulting us, we pray God forgive you. Do you know, my brother, when you attack a genuine servant of God, you are attacking God. There are things God does not joke with them. You see prophets, because God knows that people hate prophets. God knows that people hate prophets. So God does not joke with his prophets. Prophets, God does not joke with them. So when you see people that are attacking and insulting them, don't join it, don't put them out there. Pray for them and leave it to God. I thank God for everything. And people that help the work of God, God does not joke with them. People that do evangelism and win souls for God, God does not joke with them. Several people, I like the way Christians now are also talking about the things of God. At least use your platform, talk about God. Those who come to insult us, have we talked against God? Are we not helping God's people? We are only saying this is what we saw. You can also see. Like now, I said, I see Donald Trump. That's another prophecy. I said, I see Donald Trump. I, in my vision, before I traveled yesterday, where America was shaking and Donald Trump came up. He was standing to defend America. I look at it. I said, ah, Donald Trump again. So, and I told you that Donald Trump is coming back to the White House. I'm a prophet. You believe me now or not, watch how the process goes. This is just the beginning. God is taking us there. And we are ready to speak. Whatever we see, we will say it. Those who want to call us speak, we are used to the name. There's one man of God that called me yesterday and was pleading with me that I should be saying other things, that he knows me very well, but I shouldn't talk about sport or anything I see. I asked him that, should I follow God or follow you? Should I obey God or obey you? And God instantly told me, when you start following the things people say, if you start acting the way they want, you will end up in their destination. But if you follow God's destination, you will end up in God's destination. Sure. So me, I will follow God's destination. Whether you like me or you hate me, I will say what I'm saying. Yeah. I will not dance according to the tone of anybody, but according to the tone of he that called me. He that is inside here speaking to the world. God bless you, keep you in his way. Come again anytime the Lord will permit us to come. You can also watch our, t- our series tomorrow on YouTube, Determination TV, Facebook, Determination TV, uh, Prophetic Messenger, Determination Ministries International. Watch us tomorrow, you will enjoy it. You will enjoy the presence of God. God bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, congratulations to Joshua and my brother Nganu. It's not only you. Other Cameroonians should learn to know that servants of God still exist. When you hear a message about you, meditate about the message. Don't just take it light. Because if Francis Nano have heard my prophecy and took it serious, he would have not received the defeat yesterday. It was clear. And I sent messages. I'm not a Cameroon prophet. I am not a Cameroon prophet. I am not an African prophet. I am a prophet of God. So I speak for every nation. That's why you see now we're already talking about America. We are not in America, but we say American things. You might not you, you might look at the physical boy, small boy, no problem. Yes, David and Joseph, they started like that. And today we read about them. Even Jesus Christ, at the age of 12, the Bible is telling us Jesus began to lecture doctors in theology, teaching them things they did not know. God has a way of working. I love you. God bless you. Thank you. Wow. Good morning, my people. God bless you in Jesus' name. Good morning, God people. Good morning, good people. And the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. How do I say this? How do I say this? Well, I am just a messenger. Yes. Anytime my Father in heaven shows me a thing or tells me to say anything, I just have to obey. You all know my journey. You all know who I am. Those of you that have been following me for some time now, you know that I don't speak because I want to just please myself or it happens like that because those who live by grace depend on grace alone. So right here, right here in Nigeria, this is Lagos. And I'm preparing to to go to the airport and go back to Cameroon. 
and then I got a vision. And then I began to see this uh, is it World Heavyweight Championship in terms of boxing. Pam, pam, pam. Francis Ngano, who is my brother in Cameroon, and uh, Joshua Anthony, who is also my brother from Nigeria. And I'm watching them. To be honest with you, if you are going by the physical or you are going by 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 just the experience, the things like me, I came from the streets. I understand street power. I understand that Francine Gano is coming from a nature of tough times, hardship. And you know, somebody that has been working where they push the sand, carry sand up and down, that natural strength is there. But how do you explain this now to, to people? What I saw. So I saw Francis, this is a mistake. Francis, this message is also so that you should be informed. If you want to prepare well to defend yourself, you prepare. Because I saw you and Joshua as the fight began. You know, last time that you people fought against, you you, you had a fight with uh, the other man is what? Tyson Fury, is that his name? Yes, Tyson Fury, yes. You, 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 it went to the third, the tenth round. But I'm not seeing this match. It's just in a few. I don't know when it's going to be played, but I think it's more than much. I'm not seeing it go up to the tenth round. <laughs> I'm not seeing it. What I saw, not because Francis, you are not strong. There is a mistake that you did, Francis, around the third round. This is first around the third round. It's a mistake, Francis, you did. Take note of this message and adjust your mistake. If you adjust your mistake, it will not be easy for Joshua to win you. But if you don't adjust your mistake, Joshua will remove you in a way that it will hurt you even when you watch about the video. Because when I saw it, I saw Joshua, something happened, Francis. Whether you see that you will not have stability because for a lion like you to be down, how, how come you went down? A blow cannot pull you down. No, a single blow cannot pull you down. You're a lion. You're a lion, Francis. Chen Young. Chen Young. Le combat, c'est Chen Young. Mais, tu y a une erreur que tu as fait. C'est que j'ai vu dans ma vision. Je ne blague pas dans mes visions. Tu as fait une erreur au premier, troisième rang. Donc, ça n'a pas arrivé même au 10. Au, au, comme la fois dernière, tu as fait 1 jusqu'à 10. Non. Cette fois-ci, je voyais à partir du troisième, pas erreur. Bim. Je vois le lion qu'on respecte coucher comment. Non. Just walked up and went crap. And that's why I said you reminded me of Donald putting that gun on Luke McGrory to, to unify the Wallaby title back in the 80s. Walked over and crap. That's a, as clinical a punch you will ever see in your life. Is AJ now better?